Good afternoon, everyone. It is an honor to be joined by Ms. Amanda Sisk, who is our representative for SLU High from the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And uh, we have a lot of students who are looking into Alabama, so I hope that you guys are checking this out and getting some great information and will engage with the university uh, following this interview on YouTube. So, um, Ms. Sisk, would you mind just sharing a bit of an overview about University of Alabama, kind of an elevator pitch, if you will? Yeah, of course. Thank you, Mr. Shields. As Mr. Shields said, my name is Amanda Sisk. I am a regional recruiter with the University of Alabama. Um, so I live here in the St. Louis area and I work with students throughout uh, Missouri and Southern Illinois who are going through the college search process with us. So um, I am always happy um, to work with the guys from SLU. I've been working with them for over the last 10 years or so, so it's always exciting. Um, but just some basics about the University of Alabama. Um, we are a larger public research university. Um, we're located in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, Tuscaloosa is about an eight hour drive from the St. Louis area. Um, currently on campus, we have just under 38,000 students and over half of our students, about 58 of our 58 percent of our students come to us from outside the state of Alabama. So it's a really neat aspect of our campus community. Um, but we currently have over a couple hundred academic programs. Um, we have a really great honors college. I know that a lot of the guys from SLU have come into. you. Um, we have a really exciting campus life, lots of um, campus pride, campus spirit. Um, and also, you know, aside from, aside from finding that great balance between um, academics and campus life, also know that we have some great resources on campus when it comes to advising and um, academic resources, career services. Um, and we have some really strong out-of-state scholarships for students as well too. So we've got a couple different types of scholarships um, either merit-based scholarships or competitive scholarships on campus. And I know that a lot of the guys from SLU over the years have, have really obtained some really great scholarship money from Alabama coming in. All right, thank you for sharing. Um, now, I know it's a bit hard to narrow down, but if you could list some of your most popular areas of study and the opportunities that students that are going into that field have uh, within the university. Yeah, of course. So. Um, some of our largest programs um, tend to be areas like business, engineering, um, within the College of Arts and Sciences, areas like biology, psychology, political science are all, all really large. Um, I think that our students have some strong opportunities on campus and we have some great lab spaces like within business, um, there's business analytics lab, um, there are the Ingenuity Lab, which can kind of combine students from business and engineering together. Um, but we also have some really great off-campus opportunities for students as well, too, when it comes to internships and co-op programs. Um, this past year, Alabama was named first in the SEC and second in the nation for internship placement. So we really definitely um, you know, help our students get to that point and get that experience so that they can be successful in their chosen career. Um, a couple programs that I've also seen the guys from SLU really excel at and come into at Alabama. Um, we do have some specialized programs that will allow students to start on their graduate work a little bit earlier than normal. So like our accelerated master's program is one of those. A number of our, not all of our graduate programs on campus, but a number of our graduate programs on campus um, work with the accelerated master's program. And for those students who are highly motivated um, to come in and, you know, maybe even coming in with some college credit, um, they can work with their advisor to apply to the program and it allows them to then start on their graduate degree a little bit earlier. Um, and then programs like our STEM path and create path to the MBA programs have, I've seen, definitely seen some guys from SLU come in and, um, you know, participate in those as well too. So that allows students that have a major either within the STEM fields or the creative fields on campus to do their undergraduate degree as well as their MBA within a five year time frame. So um, there's certainly a lot to take advantage of on campus um, academically and, and some great programs to check out. Awesome, thank you for sharing some of those most popular programs. Now, are there any new programs that have recently made their, their debut on campus? So the, the newest programs that we have, um, cybersecurity is a new one. It's through our College of Engineering. It's through the Computer Science Department. 
Um, we do actually have a cybersecurity lab on campus as well too. So um, the students that are involved in that major, there's opportunity for on-campus internships with it. Um, we also work with a few other majors through that lab. So that's a really neat opportunity. Um, our other, I would say newest major is um, addiction and recovery. That's the program that we have through our College of Human Environmental Sciences. So those, those are the two newest ones out there. All right, awesome, very, very exciting. Um, so if we're gonna pivot a little bit, would you yeah. mind elaborating on some opportunities that students have to get engaged as early as freshman year? Some great student organizations that many students gravitate towards, um, fraternity or sorority life, or even uh, the opportunity to just go, go to some ball games. I know it's extremely popular on campus, but yeah. could you elaborate a little bit on that student engagement aspect? Of course, of course. I think that um, campus life at Alabama is certainly one of our strengths. Uh, there's a lot of excitement throughout the year on campus. Um, there's a lot of great things that students can get involved in. We have our big activities fair. It's called Get On Board Day. The first um, week or two that classes go on, so that's a great opportunity to start the year off and start being connected with our student organizations. Um, we currently have over 650 different student organizations on campus. So whether students are wanting to get involved with student government or um, volunteer type of organizations or organizations within their academic colleges, there's a lot of great opportunities. Um, we do have a great Greek life on campus too. So if students are thinking about joining a fraternity, um, that can be a wonderful community to be a part of on our campus as well. Um, Event-wise, uh, you know, anything from athletic events to music theater arts events, to events within academic colleges, um, you know, some of the biggest ones, our biggest events throughout the year, things like homecoming, um, dance marathon is big. Um, you know, there's, there's some really neat things that students can do. I think our, we have a really full events calendar throughout the year, so I think it's hard to get bored on campus, <laughs> for sure. Awesome, thank you, thank you so much. And with SLU being um, a Jesuit uh, high school, would you mind elaborating on uh, the, the university's Newman Center or any opportunities to still continue practicing faith on campus? Yeah, of course. So um, with faith on campus, right now we have over 20 or so different faith-based groups on our campus. And um, Bama Faith is the area that kind of um, prov helps provide an on-campus connection to the different groups locally. Um, for students that are wanting to continue on with their Catholic faith, um, we do have St. Francis of Assisi Parish on campus. Um, and along with that is we do have the Saban Catholic Student Center. That's our Catholic Student Center on campus. Um, the name might sound familiar. Uh, Coach Saban and his wife actually donated money to start up and rebuild that student center on our campus. And so it's the new center is just a, a few years old. Um, but we do have like the Bama Catholic Student Organization. There's lots of great ways to get involved. Um, St. Francis of Assisi is really just not too far off of our main quad on our campus. So it's really easy to get to masses. Um, and it's in an area on campus that is shared by, um, by multiple faith organizations. So um, while the Catholic Student Center and St. Francis of Assisi are, are one of the largest, larger ones, um, there's some definitely some different faith-based organizations, different services for students to check out as well. All right, thank you. And then my last question is, um, are you currently allowing uh, campus tours? And if not, how would be uh, the best way for students to engage with the university at this time? Yeah, of course. So um, we have a couple options for students. Um, we definitely have in-person tours going on on campus. And aside from um, in-person tours, so our tours right now are going on Monday through Friday on campus. Um, I always encourage students to definitely be in contact with me as well too, um, because aside from your general campus tour, if you're wanting to see the College of Engineering or learn more about business or learn more about the pre-medical program or the Honors College or Greek life. Um, if a student's available to be on campus for a good portion of their day that they're there, I can certainly help them get that more in-depth experience, in-depth visit experience. Um, but even before visiting campus, definitely know that there are quite a few virtual options that we have going on 
right now um, that students can take advantage of. So we do have a virtual tour online. It's only about a six minute tour, so it allows students to see the campus and get some good information, um, but can easily be done in like one sitting. Um, and then we do have a number of virtual information sessions that our campus departments and our academic colleges, um, Greek life, we have a student Q&A type of session going on each week. So um, there are certainly some, some good things that students can do from their own home before they can even see it in person. Definitely encourage students to take advantage of those. A lot of colleges are offering some really great virtual opportunities right now. This is very true. But it's awesome that you're still um, offering in-person tours as well. I'm, I'm sure uh, safety is definitely a requirement, but I recommend that students get on campus as much as possible. Of course, socially yeah. distanced and safe, but yes. we do appreciate that on the high school side. That students Yeah, are and I would, I would definitely recommend if a student can come to campus, um, you know, just make sure that you're making your tour reservation in advance, um, just because we do have specific COVID policies right now and our tour sizes are quite a bit smaller than they normally are. So I always wanna make sure that a family has those tour spaces reserved before they make the trip down to campus. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing and thank you for your thank time. Thank you. We do appreciate it. We're keeping our fingers crossed that next fall we'll be able to see you in person on campus again. Um, but again, thank you so much for your time and the great information that you shared with us. Yeah, thank you so much.